Well, we were working in North Macon after the hurricane, uh, observing some crews. Police officer stopped by. Hey, listen, I need you to keep an eye out for a young autistic boy. He's around 10 years old. He's got on a t-shirt with a dinosaur on it. Uh, I told her we hadn't seen anybody as of yet. That day I was working in the Macon, Georgia area uh, during Hurricane Irma. Then kind of the towards after lunch, I, I met with Steve Hanley and he mentioned in conversation that a police lady had came by and, and described to him a missing child, a little boy wearing a dinosaur t-shirt uh, that was autistic and was missing. Several hours later, a little boy come walking through the area that we were standing in, and hey, is that little boy wearing a dinosaur t-shirt? Small child, kind of fit the description, so I made contact with him. Just told him I liked the shirt, and he slowed down, and then I asked him if it was dinosaur on it, and he stopped, and he turned and looked at us. And then I asked him, hey buddy, is somebody looking for you? And he immediately started walking again. And that's when I told Eric, I said, Eric, I believe that's the boy they're looking for. I said, okay, we'll call 911. So Steve called 911 and I began to kind of walk after him and the little boy would not stop and engage with me at all. And during the process, I tried several tactics and one of them, I said, hey, are you thirsty? And he stopped and said, yes, I'm very thirsty. And I told him, I said, well, come with me. And I said, I think we can get you some bottled water. We were able to make contact with the 911 and get his mother en route where he was delivered safely back to his mother. Safety on the job at Georgia Power is, is job one. That's part of our culture and it overlays into everything we do. Another way of being who you're supposed to be. I could just tell that something just didn't seem right. Now, as a father, I knew the little boy really shouldn't have been in the area that Steve and I were working in on this day. Coupled with, you know, missing boy in the area that had been reported to us, I just knew something wasn't right. I do not consider myself a hero. I just did what felt natural. I, I feel like anybody else would have done the same thing. I'm just human. I just uh, was God placed me at the right time and the right place, and I was able to uh, aid and assist. So. In my eyes, I was not a hero. Uh, soldiers are heroes. I was just being human.